So hi, I'm Ching. Um, I I'm a hardcore young man. I've met some of you uh, in person, especially Catherine and uh, Yanni, and uh, I think I met um, Hana on Facebook a couple of times. So um, yeah, I was a concert violist and musician, and but uh, have been fiddle around video camera since uh, late 80s and then finally um, became more and more serious about making videos and making films so made a couple of shorts and uh, followed Andrew Yen um, gradually became young again I didn't become young again right away so um, but uh, um, I just uh, loved the energy of people and joined the Iowa week and stay there for two weeks and, and then went to New Hampshire. Um, I was going to there for one weekend, but then when I got to uh, Jack's house and stayed there for three weeks until the um, until the primary so i yeah i made this 80 minutes um piece of documentary and uh now it's uh it's 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 being accepted uh, the film was accepted by seven film festivals and won one award in uh, rome anywhere else <laughs> So Rome uh, International Film Festival awarded us. I feel like this is our film. It's not just my film. Um, yeah, the best feature documentary. So um, I, I really would like to have more people to see it. I think it can be a inspirational piece for other people who have not involved a political cause or volunteer work. I just think young guns are so amazing in the film. Um, but there's a but. Um, but um, I, I gradually realize Andrew Yen uh, current campaign. Uh, does not really want to talk about his past, so, I, which I understand, yeah. So, but I still think it's a good film to show because it's about Andrew Yen and his young gen, right? Without Andrew Yen, there will be no young gen. Um, so, yeah. So I'm just gonna say this much. I I look forward to you to uh, ask me questions. So maybe we can watch the uh, trailer. I have two trailers. One is one minute, one is two minute and 30 seconds. Yep, I think Megan uh, can share the trailer. I'm just hoping you hear the sound when it goes. What is going on? You you just yeah I have to make oh. on YouTube. Oh, you have to uh, hit when you screen share. You I have to make sure sound. that you're sharing sound. Yeah. I oh, okay. That. I just don't uh, hear it. Oh, you like muted when I did that. Okay. Here. All right, that works. <laughs> A closing statement that was perfectly crafted, got to his main stuff, and told you why he's different and why that's good and why it goes to the question of electability. Andrew, yeah. I am that candidate. I can build a much broader coalition to beat Donald Trump. It is not left. It is not right. It is forward. And that is where I'll take the country in 2020. Show me the money. Show me the money. UBI is freedom. Who's American? Who wants a thousand dollars a month? Are you a registered Democrat, though? Yes. Show me what democracy looks like. YouTube, yeah. Once I started reading them, I couldn't put the book down. 
And everything he said in there makes complete sense. Sometimes this world is changing too fast. I can never find a moment that seems it's going to last. They a universal basic income, $1,000 a month, is something that's going to ultimately be necessary before long. I am trying to stay in Iowa for as long as Yang needs me. It's a little scary, but I can't wait to be here. Every door I knock on, I think about getting Yang to third, second, or first. That is real. He keeps walking to another house to knock on doors to spread the word of Andrew Yang. Intense. Yeah. Woman, he's like, you get off my fucking property. You have no right being on my fucking property. You Chinese people go back to fucking China. All three of us have different candidates we're looking to support. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, Andrew Yang is not one of them. We want Yang! Tomorrow is a big day. Primaries in New Hampshire. We're going to see if we can actually pick up some people, take them to the polls. You I am a little heartbroken. This is not the end. If I had a thousand dollars, it's about the time. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, so I'll ask the first question, but everyone else, raise your little Zoom hands and let's go. <laughs> so where can we see the film? <laughs> Good question. Um, I had it a uh, sort of a premiere slash private premiere on January 4th um, on Jewel Media uh, channel. I have a, a very serious uh, YouTube channel. So it was opened to a lot of young gang. So 700, more than 700 people viewed uh, that day and maybe within the next three weeks. Then I have to put it uh, into a unlisted because when I apply for film festivals, they do not want you to have the film floating around uh, on internet. So I could not do that. Um, so the good question is, um, I actually want to have another view if someone can help me because I tried many, many ways. You can see right now, you play this movie right now, right? Uh, it's spotty through the Zoom. It's not smooth. So I wanted to find out which way can be smooth so we can view it. Uh, but still, it should be a not a public event just because the film. I'm still waiting for film festival to answer whether I get in or not. So that process is going to be yeah. And then another way of viewing it is just through film festival. Um, International Film Festival of Manhattan is going to view this film next month in May. So I don't know exactly which day, but I can tell people. So people just have to spend a little bit of money, you know, like $10 or something, you know, and to see the film. But my my initially uh, wish is to having a screen and then having people pay $10 for each and then donate the money to Andrew Yang campaign. Yeah, we're definitely happy to um, help make a, a screening happen um, or, you know, just happy to promote the film festivals that um, you'll be kind of rotating through. Mm -hmm. All right, I see the next question coming up for Megan. You wanna jump in? Oh, just looking at that and realizing, you know, like traveling around, I'm so curious, like how much footage did you really have that you, how did you manage like Sifting through all of that, I imagine it was very overwhelming. Yeah, it is. Thank you for the question, Megan. Um, thank you, Catherine. Um, yeah, I uh, first of all, I want to tell you that um, I did not intend to make a documentary. I just love shooting. So I've been shooting a lot of events um, uh, all these years, not just Andrew Yen, other stuff. So. By the time I started filming Andrew Yen, it was just 
you know, one thing after another. Um, footage wise, I use iPhone. The whole film was shot on iPhone 11. So I have a, a, a two terabyte uh, iCloud with uh, storage. So I'm able to store all footage into iCloud. I probably shot with about a whole nine, 10 months of shooting about 100 to 200 hours. I can't really calculate exactly, but definitely 100 hours. Yeah, so it was a lot of work. Um, and then I just keep shooting along the way. I made a lot of short stories I posted on my YouTube channel, which is called Jewel Media. And then um, Andrew Yen suspended his campaign on February 11th. I had no idea. I was not prepared this was happening. I was just in a denial. Even I was in New Hampshire for three weeks. I didn't see a sign of him quitting. And actually thinking back, I, if I were smart enough, I knew he would be quitting uh, because they already start to lay off people even a week before it his primary, you know. So there's a lot of things I did not understand. Um, I was never really political, very sensitive or involved with anything before. So to answer your question, um, so after he suspended, then shortly, about a month later, we went into a lockdown, right? COVID. So I started to think, Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should make a documentary with all these footage. So I was, I start to watch the footage, all of these. Uh, I remember even one day I was so miserable and don't know what to do with myself. So I just start, start to drive. I drive, I drive, I drive, I drive. I ended up actually in, in Andrew Yen's home, like outside hometown, you know, which is New Paul's area. And I check into a hotel myself. I, I just start to visit my footage for two days, like in the hotel. Be the reason is that when I'm at home, there's no continuality of watching. You know, I watch a little bit and I go do something else. I watch, you know, the cat, the family cooking dinner or whatever. It was all very distracting. And so I went to the hotel. I just like stay there for two days, two yeah. nights. Um, so. Yeah, so it, it was not easy. It was not easy with so much material. I would make index cards with different colors. Like Iowa would be one color, Connecticut would be one color, New York City, another color, and another color is New Hampshire. And then you label them into, you know, long scenes, short scenes, because I interviewed about 40 uh, young men in Iowa. I set them down, I interviewed them, you know? So that was really amazing. Thank you, Megan. Did you have a, a favorite shot or like scene that um, yeah. just sticks out in your memory always that you go back to? I have lots of, lots of favorite, you know, in the trailer, you see these are all pretty good ones. Then there's also long sequence I cannot put in. Like, uh, uh, Fred the felon came to New York. That was a really touching. Fred felon came to to New York City, and we all hopped down his. I was waiting for him on the streets, and I would drive my car behind him or side by side him, waving at him, calling him, and whatever, and then chased him all the way to Columbus Circle, and then we five of us hopped down. You know, on your he told me he's coming. Like, like. Like at six o'clock, he said, I'm coming at nine o'clock. I was like, I only have three hours. So I said to, you know, type it to people, you know, New York young gang, you know, on Facebook. And then so five people came and then we all hopped down and then we drove his truck around the city and then eventually parked his truck in front of a Trump hotel. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And then we went to, then we went to a diner. So that was already 1 a.m. We went to a diner. That was a really, really amazing scene. You know, it's that um, two homeless person came. They want our food or our money, and then we didn't have any food left. So, uh, so Fred just invited them, say, why don't you sit down, order something? 
So these people ordered, and then we yen them, you know. <laughs> That's a one very, very touching. And then I think the highlight is many things in Iowa was very touching because it's so cold, like three degrees, you know. People are just walking on the street and canvassing. So I met so many people from California, from uh, Pennsylvania, from, I don't know, Virginia, you know. So all these people, they're so fucking crazy, you know. But, <laughs> but we, we really bonded, you know. So I am still in touch with many young guys because um, I have been hosting like uh, talk shows on YouTube channel. So I would periodically talk to Yang Gan, you know, in one to one or one to five, one to 10, I don't know, so. Yeah. <laughs> I believe Angela has a question next. I mean, I could keep going, but I'll let him go. <laughs> I was going to ask when uh, going through the footage to mm -hmm. uh, create this documentary and edit everything, did you find yourself getting re inspired by reliving all that energy that was going on during the campaign? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. No, I, I am the, f I am the lucky one. Yeah. I get to see all of these things again, because I don't think that they realize, you know, the young guy really, I, I observe so many things and, so many fun moments, uh, you know, or, or, yeah, or uh, challenge uh, times, yeah, yeah. I, I, if I want to make this film, it should be as like a, a TV series because there's so many things I cannot include it because the film is too long, you know. Yeah, to, to answer your question, Angelo, I, I was really reliving it. I, I was I was just it's it's a happy, you know, it's a happy editing uh process. I had a question. Um you I remember once having a conversation and or kind of watching something that I think uh you know you had a whole other life and other set of interests before, you know, this kind of where you got yanged. Hmm. So I'm wondering if you could kind of talk about that. And then I, I really kind of felt when you came onto it, you, it wasn't like you were trying to make films for Yang. It was more like you were documenting this thing that you were experiencing that other people are experiencing. So it's interesting to be like, what, what were you up to before this point in your life? And then, you know, how were you thinking about it when you first, you know, cause you weren't there just to promote Andrew Yang. You were documenting something you were experiencing and other people were experiencing. And yeah. then how are you thinking about it now? So I'm curious about your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, very good question. Um, well, I basically um, had had always have music. Uh, it was my main focus uh, for my first so-called life. You know, for, for I would say 25 years, I, I played professionally. Uh, in orchestra and in in chamber ensemble and and then teach in college. Yeah. You know, actually, I I was teaching. I've been teaching music appreciation and jazz and Chinese music uh, in Saint Joseph's College and um, about to to yeah. Then then you know un until <laughs> until twenty nineteen uh, in November twenty nineteen. Yeah. I started to filming Andrew Yan in, in May 14. I even remember that day. That day was my very close friend from Massachusetts, D. You probably know D. D. Tao. D. Tao is a young guy. D. came to, uh, D. called me, says, I'm coming to New York uh, to attend Andrew Yan's rally. And then I say, Oh, who is Andrew Yan? You know? And she told me, Andrew Yan, a little bit. And check, it, check him out. So I check him out a little bit. And then I, I said, okay, if you go there, I'll go too, you know. I just was curious, you know. So I went to uh, the rally on May 14, and that was my first. So my film sort of starts there, you know, like that's my first exposure. And then um, I just, my nature is love uh, capturing things. 
I feel like I'm a self-funding、uh, journalist, you know, and so I start. I I made a short documentary of that event, and I was very moved by people. I keep I keep telling people I I wasn't even impressed by Andrew Yang. Uh, there's nothing really impressed me. He was on the stage looking like really stiff, you know. I was like, who is this guy? You know, like like he was looking really stiff. I mean, I just didn't like the way he looks. Uh, he he now looks so natural. He he now looks so lovely. But that that day, I was not impressed by him. So, but it, I turn around, I see so many people, black, you know, brown, um,、uh, young, old, mostly young people. I was like. Oh my God, who is this Andrew Yan? You know, MF Andrew Yan. You know, it's like let me find out. You know, why are so many people liking him? So I start to interview people. Yeah, and、uh, and then after that, I went to more events. People asked me to go video. You know, and I went to also first to video. After video, like I would say two 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 more events or three more events. Yeah, I, I was sucked in by the movement. I start to donate money like crazy. <laughs> I, I donate so much money. I maxed myself out. So um, yeah, um, I don't know if I answer your question, dear. So I quit my teaching job in November of 2019. I told my boss, I said,、um, I'm quitting.、And、my boss said, Why don't you just take a take a semester off? <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. So anyway. After that, you know, the COVID came, so I can't take semester off. You know, I I haven't been back. Yeah. And then now that you know, what what is it that you're? What are the threads that you're following now? What is it? Oh yeah. Um, I I feel like uh, I mean, I could do a lot of things for Yan because I'm New York City, right? I did collecting signature. I collected about seventy signature. For him,、uh, feeling like an idiot, you know, on the street, and but I did it.、Um, it was it was hard, you know. It's very cold.、Uh, um, I also do sort of a media things. I I continue. I must have done thirty to thirty five young gen、uh, related uh, uh, YouTube uh, interviews uh, from. Within you know from last last year, so、uh, average I probably do two you know two、uh, interviews, and I'm thinking I'm gonna do more you know so、uh, into I just interviewed three young men,、uh, Richard Ojeda、uh, and Jamie、uh, Grass and uh, Boys uh, Littlefield. They are all、um, uh, ex. They are all veterans. Veterans. So they are all young men. So they talk about NGN a lot. So it's great. So I want to host more of these, maybe once a week, and then once a week I'll do Clubhouse、uh, to talk about NGN. I already talked once, I believe. Yeah, Hana came also. So Hana was was kicking ass, you know. So Hana was great.、Um, yeah. So I will do that, and then I have been filming NGN more now. So I will just keep filming him whenever I feel like I know his schedule. I have a pass. I have a. I I'm a New York City、uh, police、uh, press pass holder, so I can go to a lot of、uh, press events. So、uh, that now I had two shots, so I'm not so afraid of going out. So so I think I can do something in terms of media and、uh, um or other volunteer stuff. Yeah. So I will, I will do it. I, I, I'm just a little burned out a little bit. I'll tell you the truth, you know. But I will do it. Yeah. Well, thank you for pushing yourself all the way、uh, through that burnout. <laughs> that's that's tough. But then definitely take care of yourself. Yeah.、Um, yeah I, I'm looking to see if there's any other questions that folks have. Ooh, I see a hand from Keith. Hey.、Um, hey. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by.、Uh, I was just going to ask.、Um, Um, I'd be curious to know if if you've gotten a chance to maybe、um, hear from some folks in New York City that、um, you know maybe weren't Yang Gang during the presidential run, but、um, 
like I'm curious what the gen general sentiment there of, of folks is um, who maybe weren't Yang Gang during the presidential run, but if you've gotten a chance to, to hear what folks' thoughts are now. You mean hearing regular people or hearing Yang Gang? Sorry. Uh, folks that aren't aren't Yang Gang, but oh. Oh. are kind of oh. learning more through his mayoral run about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, most of the people uh, I associate with these days, most of my friends, people I know, or neighbors, or uh, or people just sort of a, you know of them, not necessarily good close friends. They, 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 yeah, they seem like they're all curious about Andrew Yang. Yeah, I think they. Uh, he has visibility now. It's not like when we were in uh, Iowa. You know, say, Andrew Yang, who? Andrew who? You know, people like nobody really knows him, and so now he's very. People would stop me now because I do. I did a lot of a uh, sort of a promotion, like with my film, uh, in my na neighborhood. Uh, I live in a co-op with one thousand families. We all have a. Uh, have emails contact and they also wrote a press actually about Andrew Andrew Yang uh, Yang Gang, about the the film uh although they didn't really see the film I didn't show them you know but I yeah um they knew I am a supporter of Andrew Yang so they would you know like when they see me they all uh would comment now you know positivity you know um and on the street, same thing. I think Andrew is uh, is because uh, the twenty twenty presidential uh, run. He he definitely is like a kind of like a celebrity in New York right now. Yeah. So I think um, I think to answer your question, uh, I I feel every day more and more, you know, this this positive vibe vibe, you know from from people knowing him that's great thanks you're welcome thank you um my question taking us a little bit off the yang gang track my curiosity is do you have like a, a shorter i know you said you're a little burnt out right now mm -hmm. do you have like a dream topic that you might want to make a, another film about in the future that um maybe isn't yang gang related or maybe that is the idea but do you have any plans for other other work in the future in the, down the pipeline another work um or like any like topics that you hope to to explore or cover with yeah them? i if i make another work i probably would be something has to do with the music you know that's my forte uh i actually uh shot and produced a um, viola festival for Shanghai International Viola Festival. Uh, I I shot for a whole week for them, uh, and uh, made a fifteen minutes and one hour, both version. So these two films, these two video, whatever you could call, um, they're not internationally distributed. Uh, so I would like to go back to talk to them to make the film better. And then hopefully they'll let me, you know, uh, to distribute to, because, because the level of playing is incredible. So, so it's a, it is some people need to see that, you know, so that that's something I'm thinking of. Other than that, maybe I just uh, uh, keep shooting, you know, like, every week maybe i give myself uh like i shoot twice two two times follow andrew yan just see what happens you know so that's another sort of a uh yeah sort of a not really a plan i i don't know because if i just sit home doing nothing um it gets really yeah very difficult for me to not not to go you know chase him you know so yeah i probably would do but i'm not sure if i would do a film maybe just making videos you know so thank you for asking <laughs> looking forward to anything you create in the future <laughs> yeah just 
check my YouTube channel, <laughs> Jewel Media. I want to be um, responsible that it's getting late where you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. So uh, and thank you, you guys know. to be here because it's an Oscar night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yep. deserve an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll just we'll definitely kind of like try to to wrap it up so you can take care of yourself because I I see that you're really um you're really extending yourself um at at this time mm -hmm. uh but you know one one thing that I it's not more like a question but it, it's more um you know having been working at the the national level and supporting state efforts for a little while and I've been uh, actually very deep in with the Iowa Yang Gang as they've been launching a, uh, a ranked choice voting organization that's really taking off. Um, and then we, the Oregon Yang Gang, uh, the, some of the core people from that uh, founded a UBI specific organization, uh, Income Movement, and they've been very successful. And then kind of what Hannah's working on, uh, kind of converting this existing conference that had been very academic to more grassroots focused it just seems like there, there's this whole community um, and set of issues and experiences and, and kind of like how you talked about, you know, just as you were having these conversations with people and why they were there and what motivated them. And, you know, you have just such great conversations and footage. So um, I know that through June, you know, you're engaged in this inquiry about Andrew Yang, the mayoral race, and kind of in that area. And then we'll definitely need to take care of yourself. But um, at, at some point, I'd love to have a conversation with you after all of that to see, you know, if any of these other movement threads are of interest to you. Because for me personally, um, I think what's most exciting is, you know, Andrew Yang had a special ability to engage with people who basically had written the political process off. And that was very unique. Um, and other people are trying to replicate that, but, you know, to different levels of success. But to me, it's very interesting. These people who are, you know, had not been politically involved being like, nope, I'm going to get into this. And it's such a, I don't know, it's very, it's very exciting for me to, to see that and to try to help foster that. So I'll, that's not even a question, but it was just a thought I wanted to share with you. <laughs> Thank you, Gatherin. Thank you. And then Angelo, you want to uh, lead us out <laughs> the final one? Oh, I already asked it in chat. I was uh, just going to ask, what are the chances of seeing a Ching Viola concert coming up? <laughs> <laughs> I need to practice first. <laughs> I haven't been practicing. I do teach, though. I teach uh, privately. Yeah. But, uh, oh, wow. For playing concert, I need to practice. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Uh, and we're definitely going to sync up with you and get the kind of dates of the film festival. And I know within our movement, they have been showing movies and um, the, I think when Hamilton was kind of released on Disney plus, we did a, a, you know, had a showing. So like someone does have the skill knowledge of how to do that such that there's no lagging to it. Somebody, um, somebody showed the movie called, uh, UBI movie? What is it called? In Inherent Good? Inherent, yeah. 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 We should figure out how they do that. That was really awesome. So I want to yeah. know how they do. How many of you, I'm curious, are on a Clubhouse? Are you? I'm, I have a Clubhouse account, but I don't go on, I, I don't go on there as much as I used to. Oh, okay. um, but I do have one, so I can, I pop up if I'm like pinged sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think if you um, connect with Hannah on Clubhouse, she can kind of pull you into all the spaces that you might be interested in that are kind of connected mm -hmm. um, with with our movement. Because I feel like she and several others are are really just like being champions on there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yes, we will connect with you and um, yeah, just continue to follow the thread of you know the the film and the the work that you're doing and kind of publicize, put that on our calendar. The uh, film festivals and and get our act together and figure out how to do a, a you know a screening fundraiser if you want for you know andrew and yeah thank you so much for having me and um 
thanks for your work. You guys work your butt off and continue your work. Very consistent. Bravo. Thank you. Uh, can everyone unmute? Can we get a round of applause for Ching? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.